Hey guys, Elena here from Queen's Laces. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm an online reseller on sites like eBay and Poshmark. Also, Tradesy, Mercari, Etsy, Facebook Marketplace, pretty much anywhere I can make money. Um, and today I have a short um, Goodwill haul for you, um, just from my local Goodwill. I went in for about an hour and picked up a few things. And then after this, I'm going to show you um, a short little makeover of my storage area where I keep all my inventory. It was a disaster and I used my quarantine time to redo all of it with help from my wonderful husband. But anyway, um, if you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And I'm just gonna jump right into the haul, starting with this uh, Free People size small. It's like a cream color. It's a beautiful dress. I really like this. It's like got a full bottom. It's got like that rustic frayed hem and it's um, layered underneath here. I don't know if you can see it. And it's got um, this button down detail. It's like a really pretty um, prairie style dress. And um, I, on my last video, I forgot to put how much I spent on everything. Here's my receipt. And for, uh, for everything you're gonna see here, I spent $55.50. I had my mom with me and she got her senior discount. <laughs> so that was nice. Anytime she comes into town, I'm like, mom, let's go to Goodwill because she's military too. So on Tuesdays, I think it's military and on Thursdays it's uh, seniors. So I get like the double discount. <clears throat> We'll go on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This is just a Joan Voss size large. It's basically brand new. It's an open front jacket. It's got pockets. Really nice. If it was still winter time, I would probably think about keeping it. It's really soft too. This is an Eliza J, size medium. I think this was the half off color, and that's why I got it. I usually only get the Eliza J dresses if they're new with tags or have the, um, like a fun floral, girly print. This was just a basic uh, sweater dress. I love the pop of color on the hem and also on the back zipper detail. I thought that was really cute. And I don't know what the fabric content is of this. It, um, it's just acrylic. So just a basic sweater dress. I know it's not the season for it, but I just went ahead and picked it up. Okay, and my husband actually found these, which is really awesome because I've never found um, pants in this brand. I've only found um, a dress and it sold like instantly for really good money it's I'm not gonna pronounce it right I don't think it's M.M. Lafleur 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 uh, size 10 it's just a pair of like trousers I need to steam these um, I don't know what the fabric content is but I'll look at those later This is Madewell, size extra large. And it's got like this lace up detail on the neckline. It's this pretty black crochet, long sleeved, lightweight blouse. Ooh, and then um, this is a pair of hand row. It's Henro of Switzerland. Um, this is a Bolo brand. They do a lot of, it's like luxury sleepwear. They do a lot of uh, gowns um, with like lace detail on them, really pretty. They have a huge following and I get good money for the gowns, like 35 to $40 every time. Um, I haven't sold pants before, but I'm curious to see what these are gonna sell for. They're so soft, um, but they're a size small.
And then this is a pair of, <laughs> I looked these up. I was gonna stop buying equestrian like riding pants because I feel like it doesn't fit into the rest of the stuff that I sell. But um, certain brands I just have to pick up. There's a brand called um, Kingston or King's Land. I don't know, it's one of those, but they sell for really good money, so I always pick them up. This one is another one that I looked it up while I was there. My husband found these, um, and they were really good. The comps were really good. It's Animo, A-N-I-M-O. Made in uh, Italy, I believe. And... They're just really great quality riding pants. When you pick up riding pants, check all the seams. I always do a pull test on the back and on the interior legs. Cause when you do a lot of riding, it wears out in like the, like my crotch area. <laughs> so you really want to check for that. Check all the seams because sometimes there's a reason why they donated it. But these ones seem to be in excellent condition. So I was really happy about that. And I was also happy because he found two pairs. So there's a gray, and then there's this like khaki color. And then this is just a Peter Marlar size extra small. I don't do men's anymore, but this is a women's skirt. So I thought I would try it out, a squirt, excuse me. This would be a really great um, golfing skirt. This is Athleta, size small. It's like a hoodie dress almost, like a hooded sweater dress with the like ribbed detail on it. I really like that. And then lastly, I just found one pair of boots. These are just Clarks. I got them because they're like in brand new condition. And they are a size eight. Really pretty. I do pick up Clarks boots because they do well for me. Um, but anyway, that is all that I have for this haul. Now I'm going to show you um, my inventory makeover. So this was the before, completely trashed stuff everywhere. It was so hard to find anything. So I ended up dumping each bin out and I got to work on folding everything and putting them into clear bags with the tags facing up so that I could see everything. Um, this took a while and at some point I did have my husband help me. Um, it was definitely a long process, but in the end, completely worth it. Again, as you can see, I had all the tags facing up so that I can easily see what each item is in the bins and I don't have to individually label them. Um, I can clearly see what each thing is. And this is the end result. Everything is clearly labeled and sorted into bins, large jackets and blazers, swimwear, and then each section is uh, B, like B tops, B dresses, B bottoms, and it goes along that way for each letter of the alphabet. Um, I do have plenty of bottoms and tops, as you can see. I probably need to get some more dresses, um, but that is the end result. And these are all of the items that were not listed. I just had this sitting in my inventory. So that's it for today, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Queen Voices the Third, and I will see you next time. Bye.